Here's some information for you fishermen from the Washington State Department of Fisheries. How do I tell the difference between a, I guess this is a king or a black mouth? How do I tell this from a silver? Well, there's several ways to tell. Uh, this is obviously a Chinook salmon, or some people call them king, or they're a little immature. Uh, they're called black mouth. If you get out the, the other salmon, the silver that you have, we'll make sure that it is a silver, and I'll show you how to tell the difference. Okay, great, because okay. we already cleaned it, and I don't want to get tagged for having too small a fish. Uh, they're both beautiful fish. They're easy to tell. If you look at the lower gum line of both fish, uh -huh. on the Chinook or the king, the lower gum line is black or nearly so. And on the silver or coho, that's this one right here. That's that one right there, the smaller of the two. The lower gum line is very light gray or nearly white. It's real easy to tell when you look at them comparatively. Now, another way to tell, but not quite the surefire way that the lower gum line. The lower gum line is the real test that we all use because uh -huh. there are variations in different fish. But Chinook have a much more heavily spotted back, especially when they're in salt water. Oh, I see like you right can tell right there. Right there. And usually the spots continue on to the tail. And if you look at the coho, you don't see many spots. Look at that spots you're talking about right here? Right. In Puget Sound, the size limits uh, for Chinook are 22 inches. And there's no size limit on coho in Puget Sound, but they differ in the ocean. So these have to be at least 22 for At I least 22 it. inches. And this one I'd could be six inches on keeping it, huh? It could be, although you wouldn't want to. <laughs> You'd want to turn it loose and let right. it grow up to a more catchable size like fish. this one, yeah. If, if you fished a lot, sometimes when you reel in a fish on a day like today, and this isn't 100% uh, true, but it's generally true, a coho, if you can see down in the water on a nice bright day like this, his back will look greenish. And a Chinook, when you're reeling them in, will look purple or sort of iridescent. So if you get a real small fish on that has an iridescent or purple look to it, and you can see that, it's likely a Chinook and you're likely going to have to throw it back. So you know ahead of time that maybe you ought to handle, a little, uh, handle the fish with a little more care than you hey, need to. That's a good tip. Thanks. Yeah. Now what's the size limit on the uh, chums and, say, sockeye? There's no size limit on those. Not on pink no. either? No. Other salmon have no size limit on them. We just have size limits on uh, Chinook and coho in, in the ocean waters. Okay. Okay, you told me about the minimum size limit, but I'm not clear how do I measure that minimum size limit. So I know that I've got a 22 inch fish. Okay, well you're off to a real good start, Ray. Uh, you lay the fish on its side on a flat surface, like the deck here, of a, the back deck here of a boat. Right. And you get your measuring device, whatever it is, in inches. Okay, I've got one right here. And you even it up with his snout, the longest part of it. Okay, just like I have right just here. Just like right? you have right there. And the okay. fish is laying in a natural position, and you measure it back to the tail, okay. so that the tail is laying in a natural position, so it's not pointed or well, extended not, in any manner. That's not natural right there? Well, that looks pretty good to me. It's, it's laying pretty natural, sure. Okay. And that's how you get your, your true size limit there, your measurement. Now, you can't use a uh, cloth tape and go along the edge of the fish because there's curvature taken into account there, and and you don't get an accurate measurement. So just how you've done it there on the Chinook okay. is exactly how we do it. Okay, now on the silver here, there's no size limit? Not in Puget Sound. Okay. Uh, once again, to measure this, I'd like to just kind of get an idea, make sure I hear you correctly on that measurements. If this wasn't uh, a silver, which we both know it is now, measure right from the nose right here. Right. And this would be... 24 inches in. Right. Looks like 24 inches to me. Now our okay. size limits differ in fresh water and, and each river that's open for salmon fishing uh, has some individual quirks in the, in the minimum sizes in our, in our rivers. But uh, for Puget Sound, those are two beauties. All right.